Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. Apologies there wasn't one last week, but lo and behold there is one this week. So last week on the blog I was talking about that vintage shirt I obviously picked up in a vintage store. It was really, really cool, featured across my blog, but I didn't do a YouTube video on it. So since I'm actually featuring another vintage shirt across my blog tonight, go and have a look at it, I thought I'd talk about that one, which is behind the one I had on my blog last week. So basically tonight's blog post is another vintage shirt styled up how I wear it, sort of a little bit of a twist on things because it's actually a girl shirt um, but it's one of those ones where you would never know, it has got a little bit of a tie to it but I'll explain it all later on um, basically last weekend was, I think it's just been another busy one, like this week has been busy as well so I want this YouTube to be a little bit of a catch up, not a long one so I might have to set a timer or something on my phone but I just want to catch up a little bit of obviously talking about my blog and stuff and obviously the shirts I've been featuring across my blog and I've been buying all these shirts because I'm going to go on holiday next week super excited to go on holiday so I think next weekend is probably going to be I'll do one last post before I go away and that's probably just the little bits and pieces I've sort of got together so I know I want some jeans that's definitely on the list some black really really cool jeans some skinny jeans might need a couple of t-shirts might get another possible shirt and I've got quite a lot so that might not be like the top of the list but there's a few things I want to get for holiday next weekend which hopefully I want to write a post about and feature across on my blog next weekend but this weekend we've got the two shirts behind me and we've got to catch up and this is what today's YouTube video is all about so where shall I start first shall I start with a catch up or shall I start with a shirt I'll probably do the catch up first just because it's just like it feels like ages I've sat down and done a YouTube video obviously I missed last week um, but I'm back with another one so literally what I've been up to this week has been crazy, really really busy, getting loads of stuff done, being at work loads and it just seems to be like I've not got a minute. So last weekend I went to, I went back home, it was my beer festival, had an absolutely awesome day, really really good, saw all my old friends and just we had like a spot on day and to be honest Sunday it was going to be like, I thought it was going to be totally written off but it wasn't that bad. The hangover was, it wasn't bad at all. It was like a five out of 10, and I was expecting like a 10 out of 10. So Sunday when I got up last weekend was actually quite a nice way to start the day. I'd had an awesome night out previous. Had the whole day drinking at the beer festival. The weather was amazing, it was awesome. Got a nice little cigar for the occasion as well. But it was just spot on day, and to make it even better, I didn't have a hangover the next day, so it was all good. Um, the Monday Sally moved down, my sister moved down to Manchester so she's in the flat now making a mess and things are just like, it's weird having someone else around because I've been living all this time in this flat which I still haven't showed you around, I do realise that, I still haven't wrote a blog post about it um, but in my, uh, sort of like by myself and I've sort of like got used to the fact of like just doing my own thing at the own time and just like, it's just been cool but now there's someone else milling about, it's sort of like right, I'll have to get used to that now. So yeah, we uh, got a, we rented a car put loads of stuff in the car on Monday, drove down, easy peasy, dropped the car off, dropped everything off at the flat and touch wood, it was, it was an easy move, it was not stressful, I had a bit of a laugh and it was cool. That's what I did on Monday and this week's just been literally full of work and sort of like obviously since I'm going away for two weeks, I've got two weeks off work, I've had to make like little folders and little things to like, so when I'm not there there's still stuff being put out at work so that's that's what I've been up to that's why it's been a little bit more hectic than usual because I'm doing like my work and I'm doing like folders of work which I would normally do when I'm actually there so it's uh, it's been pretty hard but the best thing at work last week is we had a meeting obviously we try to like get a few photographers uh, sort of going on we try and like I don't know like meet up with a few different people we try and obviously the brand's growing all the time and uh, it's just one of those things where it's just like anything we can like try take on meat is just like really really cool we want to grow it we want to see what's going on we want people to collaborate we want sort of different photographers a meeting last week it was on Thursday with Matt and Lee who actually run uh, off the rails mag which is an unbelievable publication obviously they've got their Instagram account you might follow off the rails on Instagram so that you know you've got the sort of all the cool inspirational really super cool images and obviously just like the photographer behind it Matt he's just the coolest guy ever so we met Matt and Lee we just met him in a random coffee shop in Manchester that shows to me like how cool Manchester is so you, you go into these coffee shops and you actually you never know who would be sitting there next to you that's that's how big and sort of like bustling and sort of creative Manchester is you just never know who you're sitting next to. Anyway, so we went to this coffee shop, met them both, really, really cool. We're trying to think of some plans we can obviously do a fix in the future or down the line. But we sat there for a good hour and 45 minutes just chatting ideas and it was just so good to 
here. It was just so inspirational for me, especially sort of. I've got my little blog and I've got my little Instagram. And I'm sort of like trying to do these films at work and just the way they work, they, how they get the photos. And it was just, I wrote, well, I didn't write stuff down obviously when I was having this meeting with them, but I got back open the diary and just at the back I was like writing all these really because I came out of this meeting I was like absolutely buzzing so inspired and I just wanted to like get cracking with my films get cracking with my blog and it was just when you meet two hugely influential and sort of inspiring characters you can't help but get inspired yourself so it was absolutely awesome really really cool Matt and Lee are absolutely legends and hopefully fingers crossed uh, down the line with Fix, hopefully we'll be able to get some campaigns or work with them in any way, but the magazines are absolutely awesome. Because like, I've never actually seen one of their physical off-the-rails magazines, like obviously a lot of people download the digital uh, the digital magazine, but I've never actually held one. And it's I think these are like £100 each magazines, um, which obviously they want to get the price down on, but it's just that's, that's how much they actually cost to print. They're just the best quality, thick paper, glossy paper, awesome printed, just the photography and just like some of the films he was showing us. As you can tell, I'm pretty excited and I was pretty excited meeting them, but it was absolutely class and that was the best thing I did at work this week, which was absolutely awesome. So that, um, this is Saturday, so I'm filming this obviously the day before it goes out, edit it, I'm doing my blog this morning and tonight I'm probably going to go out for a few beers, which is good. The weather in Manchester is a little bit colder, obviously it's like, it's not the heat wave anymore, it's sort of like gone down to just normal temperatures. And to be honest, last night I went out went out with my girlfriend and we went for a meal and even when we're walking back from the restaurant it's like oh bloody hell it's like it's getting cold I, I don't like this at all I want the summer still I still want the summer so hopefully fingers crossed a little bit of warm weather but saying that I'm going away in like a week time so I'm all right I'm good um, but yes anyway so that's pretty much the catch up that's what I've been up to that's how busy I've been oh, I also gone uh, sorry I also went to get my hair done cut so this is the old new do, this is the old holiday haircut. So as you can see, there's a little bit off. And I, when I got my photos the other day, obviously, like I think I just come, I come straight from the hairdressers. I think it was the day after. So this is the fresh, this is the fresh do um, for holiday. Obviously I didn't want like massively long hair. I was looking at my Instagram and it was just like, even last year I had ridiculously long, long hair. So now it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter. It'd never get any probably shorter than this, but I do like this style. It's a little bit messy, it's a little bit cool very curly and it looks good so I'm pretty happy with my hair at the minute it's so good when he's just like going down because this is what I'm doing as well obviously with work um, doing these films doing these little like obviously bits of photography here and there so I know a guy in um, Manchester who owns his own hair salon so I'm trying at the minute to set him up on Instagram so I've been down taking lots of photos from him doing a few films from him trying to run his Instagram account and trying to suss something out with that as well so I've been doing that been doing my job been doing these big meetings trying to get holiday plans as you can tell it's been pretty busy but I'm not going to wait around for ages I know it's probably quite boring listening to my general day-to-day -day life but that's what I've been up to I thought right do a video and I'll tell you what I've been up to but I will move on to the clothes don't worry it's fine so quick recap on this one since you've all seen it I realise it's probably horrendously creased but it has been in the wardrobe and even when I was shooting it I think I just ironed it before I tell you I did I did iron it before I came up but I had so many comments going oh you could have you could have ironed it Christine you could have ironed it but uh, yeah basically I sat in the car for like 10 minutes and even just sitting in the car I don't know what it is with the shirt it just crinkles and creases so much um, but this is this is the old holiday shirt so this is the one I got tailored, so basically he tailored the arms on it, he tailored the, the the length, the length was absolutely ridiculous. So luckily we had a lot of this floorboard um, obviously on this print to go, so it was just like, it was probably about down there, so it was another like two or three inches on the shirt. The shirt was originally extra large and it was like, it was American extra large, you can imagine how big it actually was. So basically we're lucky here because the shirt on the, the print on the back of the shirt is the same on the front, so basically what he took from that side he took from the opposite side on the back so basically we kept the print but when I obviously came across it in the vintage show like I said on my blog last weekend it was just such a cool shirt originally I was going to frame it I was like that is so cool it's so unusual I've never seen anything like that I just want to keep it for like a piece of artwork because look at that print I mean it's absolutely killer see past the horribly not iron shirt to the print it is very cool so there's like a leather jacket thrown over this um, over the bar stool there there's a I'll start that again. There's a leather jacket thrown over one of the bar stools. There's obviously like a red electric guitar there. There's a whiskey, beers, drum kit. And I just thought, this is like me. This is my sort of like pseudonym. This is like the unidentified rocket in a shirt. So I couldn't sort of see past it. Um, it's a brand called Tory Richards. 
never heard of them, but they're a brand based in Honolulu, Hawaii. So I think it's it's like quite an old shirt as well. I think they started, it says 1956. And this shirt must have been around for quite a long time, but even down to like the little sort of pearlescent buttons and they've all got sort of like the Tory Richards emblem in and it's just a well designed, really cool print killer shirt. So I thought it was perfect for holiday. I got it, it was actually £18 in the vintage store. That's what I'm basically talking tonight in my blog. I'm basically I've not been shopping vintage shopping for a while. So when I saw this, it sort of spurred me on and wanted that I was like, right, I need to go vintage shopping more often just in case there's any more of these absolutely sort of hidden gems where you can either change or sort of tailor just a little bit for like the price you're getting. I mean eighteen pounds. I spent twenty six pounds tailoring it. But even then it's probably cheaper than an all cent shirt. So that one, that was on the blog last weekend, so you can go and check that out on there. But obviously tonight's vlog, I went back vintage shopping and I came across this little guy, which is which is it's a, again a very unusual shirt. Like I've never seen anything like this before. Obviously, you've got this um, very sort of like seventies, eighties collar line. It's open. The buttons don't go right at the top. So basically, you're gonna wear it open anywhere. I love wearing wearing shirts open, even a little bit too open, like where it's sort of like it's just on the verge of like, is that actually okay to go out in? But I just thought, obviously for holiday, this is again another perfect shirt. Um, it's a little bit different here with obviously this tie. You look at the tie and you go right, it is a girl shirt, but. I've actually seen, I've def I still can't find this photo though and I wanted to sort of find the photo to show you that guys wear it as well. And I've seen a photo and I think it's of Keith Richards. He's holding a bottle of light whiskey and he has a shirt pretty much identical or he's just tied the shirt he's wearing in this particular way. But it's quite rock and roll. I think it's obviously black and white, it's monotone. It's not very girly, but it's just little, this little tassely sort of tie at the bottom, which does make it that little bit feminine. But as you can see on my blog post, I've tucked it into the jeans, so you can't really see it. But I think in America, when I'm wearing this shirt, more relaxed, more sort of open, sort of like obviously it's going to be hot. Um, that's where I'm going, by the way. America, give it away. And uh, I just think it's going to look ridiculously cool. So I'm going to wear it quite open. I might stick a little t-shirt underneath, obviously like a white t-shirt or a vest top. But just to have this little tassel even done or undone, as you can see, I think it's going to look pretty cool, pretty sort of like rock and roll. And hopefully I emulate Mr. Richards himself. But even down to the, um, we've got these massive cuffs here. So normally a cuff is like half the size. These cuffs go like, I don't know, two, three inches up the shirt. And they've just got two little detail buttons there, but they've not got detail buttons on the bottom. So basically these cuffs are meant to be huge, they're meant to be big, and they're meant to be rolled up. So that's the way I sort of style the shirt. I did actually, obviously, in Manchester, you wear it a little bit differently to what I'm gonna wear it away. So I teamed it up with a black denim jacket, just pretty cool. Obviously it matched the black and the white. It's all sort of like black, white, black jeans, black denim, black and white shirt, it looked pretty cool. Um, so basically that's how I styled it up over here, but hopefully when I'm over in America, I wanna style it up in quite a cool sort of relaxed vibe like very very cool way but that's the plan in my head anyway but i just thought there's another shirt again i think this was 18 pounds i got it in cow vintage cow vintage is basically just it's probably my closest one in the northern quarter so it's like but we've got we're pretty spot for choice for vintage shops in there in the northern quarter we've also got aflex which is basically like a building full of vintage stores but basically i just thought girls or guys who cares even if it's big you can get it tailored to be honest, this one, I'm not going to lie, is a little bit too small for me. Um, that's probably the worst. I mean, if it is if it is too big, you can always get it tailored. If it's too small, you can't do much. So um, I'm just hoping if I stay still, and hopefully if I don't reach up for anything, because I know it'll ride up massively, this. But I think it's pretty cool. I absolutely love it. It's got a really cool sort of like 70s rock and roll, pretty rock style vibe to it. And this is the shirt I'm featuring across on my blog tonight. So, obviously I've gone through the shirt last week, and that shirt featured on the blog, this week's shirt, and hopefully we've had a little bit of a catch up as well. I know this is probably, I've been talking for ages and I've been saying loads of stuff, but hopefully you found it interesting. Um, thanks for watching one of my YouTubes. I think next week there probably will be one more YouTube of me sort of like talking about jeans, talking about going away, where I'm going like sort of a little bit more detail. And I think I'm probably gonna have those two weeks. I've got some super cool, collaborations which I'm still trying to sort out at the minute so hopefully next week by that time I'll have the stuff and hopefully I'll have so sorted like the collaborations out because I'm taking a couple of bits of clothes to America to shoot but I'll tell you more about that next week if you've not sort of subscribed to my YouTube channel 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would be cool to have you along if you love talking about clothes, if you like me talking about clothes, if you like my sense of style. And I'm not putting it all across to you, but I'm sort of picking little bits out, sort of changing it and giving you like little bits where you wouldn't normally notice because they might be on different websites, might be in vintage stores, might be sort of like just style it up a little bit differently to what everyone else does. Come along and subscribe and see what the crack is and see what it's all about across my blog and YouTube channel. Um, but that's it. Thanks for listening to this hugely long, hopefully quite interesting uh, YouTube and I will see you next week for another YouTube. Cheers, and I'll see you in a bit.